You know how I got land? I was homeless. And I used to fish all the time. I wasn't fishing playing, I was fishing catching fish because I drive to a rest area because I kept charcoal in my trunk. And when I got to them little grills on the side of the uh, rest area, I'd take my charcoal and I'd fry my fish. But I was always fishing somewhere illegally because I ain't own no lake or nothing. And I, I catch a string of bass, probably get six of them on there. Hey, what are you doing over here? Get away, get out of here. I pull my string up. Hey, them fish don't belong to you. Let them fish go. I got to take all them fish off the hook and throw it back in the water. He didn't know, man, that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to eat, but I can't break no law, so I got to go on by my business. So first thing I said, I told God, I said, when I give me some money, I'm going to buy me a piece of land. Because I just want a piece of land where can't nobody run me off. I, I just want something I can stand on. This, this here piece belonged to me. So this how I did it. I was reading something one day and I said, man, how much land is on earth? So I looked it up. It's a little over 36 billion acres of land on earth. At the time, it was between five and six billion people on earth. It's a little over eight billion now. So I did a little, little hood math. I said to myself, if it's 36 billion acres of land and it's six billion people, just to me, everybody ought to have six acres of land. It was a scripture my mom used to tell me about all the time. She'd say, you have not cause you ask not. So guess what I started asking for? Six acres of land. Just wanted six. So I messed around and got my first piece of money. I got me a check for about 115,000. So first thing I did, went to Dallas, Texas, said, I'm gonna buy me some land. I found a piece of land I thought it was perfect. Had a fishing lake at the end of it cause I love to fish. I said, man, this piece I'm gonna buy right here. Let me talk to somebody. I was with a real estate agent. I said, how much is this? He says, 250,000. I can't afford this. I said, I got about 115. He said, I don't think you're gonna be able to get it for that, but I'll make a call. So he called the guy. The guy said he would take 115 now and I could pay him the rest later. And before I did it, I said, hey man, let me ask you something. How much land is that? He said, oh, that's six acres. It was six acres. I got ready to sign it up. The real estate agent said, Mr. Harvey, before you sign that, I want you to think about it. I want to show you something else. So he took me over to this dude's house. I never met this guy. He came outside, he's a hillbilly. He's just country. You know, I was a little nervous. Me and hillbillies don't really, we don't, we don't normally work that good together. His name was uh, Jerry Campbell. Uh, turned out to be one of the nicest men I ever met. I misjudged the man. He talked to me, said, I don't show you something. And I go over there and I couldn't believe it, man. It had rolling hills on it. It had four lakes on it, fishing ponds. I said, man, look at this right here. How many acres is this, man? He said, 16 acres. I said, man, I can't afford nothing like that. He said, well, hold on, I'm in a tide right now. How much you got? I said, well, I was gonna do this other piece of land. I got 115, I'm gonna pay now. And if you give me a year to pay out the rest of it, I, I could buy it from you like that. He said, tomorrow morning, if you bring me a $115,000 check, I'm gonna give you this land. So I got the 16 acres of land the next day. So I said, wow, that's how it worked. You have not cause you ask not. I asked for six. Soon as I was gonna buy the six, he put some grace on it. Next thing you know, I got 16 for the same money. So I got to thinking. I got a couple partners in Cleveland that's locked up. They not getting out of prison. So I asked God, could I have a six? They not getting out. They got six coming. 
Hey, Lord, can I have a six? So you know what he did? Some land opened up next to it. I bought 18 more acres. I bought it. So I went back up to Cleveland. I was hanging out one day. My boys was on the corner. I told them, I said, look, man, I can't, can't hang out on corners no more. I'm trying to get my TV career started. Oh, you done changed, man. This what's happening. So now you done got this little money. You done forgot where you from. I said, okay, hey, Lord, can I have A6 too? Cause, so I see right now. Yeah, I see what's happening right there. They ain't finna go nowhere. So I kept asking for everybody I thought wasn't gonna ask for A6. I asked for A6. I ended up owning almost 300 acres of land in Denton County, Texas. But I just kept on, man. Just kept on with it. I just kept the faith. I kept believing. I kept asking him. I kept wanting. God got great life for you, man. But you're going to have to ask for it. And when you ask for it, you're going to have to believe it. After you believe it, you got to put your work in. Now, if you don't want to do the work that it takes to be successful, this man with his success, if you knew how hard he worked, if you knew the hours he put in, the hours his daddy put in, if you knew what it really took, it's daunting. It's days, man, where you go, whoa, what is this I'm trying to do? But you got to hang in there. See, getting what you want is up to you. How you get there, that's up to God. See, the, how, the problem with you is you're trying to figure out how to do something. Listen to this. The how-to ain't none of your business. The Bible don't tell you to figure nothing out. It say, ask, believe, and receive. Now, see, you keep going down these churches. They keep telling you this, but you ain't listening. I'm asking you to listen. You can turn your life around if you change your attitude. You change your attitude, you change your altitude. Stop sitting in here with a life of mediocrity when that ain't what God created you for. Now, you might not want this life. You might not want what it take to get here. But if you want this life, you got to put in your work. You got to put it in, you got to stay prayerful, you got to never give up, you got to talk to God every day. Now, if that ain't what you want to do, then good luck. You keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been going. Getting. I would try something else if I was y'all. I appreciate y'all coming. Thank y'all very much.